Hello friends, welcome to our channel Plexi Contained. So today I am going to discuss about a very interesting topic that is annotated bibliography. Many of us get confused in between bibliography and the annotated bibliography. So today in this video I am going to tell you about what is annotated bibliography, how it differs from bibliography along with how perfectly a annotated bibliography can be written. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Firstly, I would like to know you what is bibliography. I think all of us are aware about this term bibliography, but still I want to recall your understanding of the bibliography. It is a list of all the sources that we have studied in preparing our research work. It is not always necessary to give the in-text citation of all the bibliography that we have cited in our research paper. There are two most popular styles that generally the authors or the writers used uh, in their research paper for writing the bibliography is Chicago citation or the Oxford citation. Again, it is not mandatory to use these kind of citation. It depends on the university and your supervisor. Now coming to our main topic that is annotated bibliography. So annotated bibliography is an extended version of a bibliography. That means it includes a brief description of the research work or the source and how that source is relevant to our research work. So the main purpose of an annotated bibliography is just to understand the researcher work along with the relevancy to the topic on which we are doing our investigations. And the most important thing, it is a way to give credibility to one's work if we are using it in our research project. And annotated bibliography is always arranged in the alphabetically order as per the author's name. So that was all about the annotated bibliography and now I am going to tell you about how to write a perfect annotated bibliography. So firstly, I will start with the format. Generally the format depends on the supervisor or the university. And again the order as I have already mentioned that the order of the annotated bibliography is always be in the form of a alphabetical order of author's name. Next is concise. In annotated bibliography, each point should be summed up in a single paragraph. We should mention only the relevant and the significant details and do not extend it to, to three or four paragraphs. Next is transition words. To make our annotated bibliography more cohesive and impressive, we can use the words like moreover, furthermore, therefore, etc. Next, we should always refer the already written annotated bibliography so we will get some idea how the annotated bibliography can be written. And again, uh, we can also give the information about the author's background if possible. Again, it is not necessary uh, to give the background of the authors. Lastly, we do the conclusion made by the author for their research work. Next, I will guide you about the different ways of writing the annotated bibliography. So there are three different ways of writing. First one is indicative or descriptive annotation. Second is informative or summary annotation. And third one is evaluation annotation. I will explain you different styles of writing one by one. So let's start with our first annotation style that is indicative or descriptive. So in this kind of annotation style, we just give a quick summary of the source. That means we only discuss what the research paper is all about and what are the chapters included in the research paper. The example is mentioned here. Now next move to the informative or summary annotation style. In this type of annotation style, we provide a summary of sources. We only describe the main arguments or the points. For example, we describe what the research paper is all about and what is its objective and how it fits into our list. Again, the example is mentioned here. The last one is evaluation annotation. So this type of annotation is an extended version of summary annotation where we explain the clear objective or the goal of the source and why it fits into our list and along with the reliability of the information uh, they have provided in the research paper and if the research paper have any bias in it. We need to uh, dig deep uh, to the research paper uh, to gain some more idea about that 
research work. Again, the example is mentioned here. So this is all about the annotated bibliography. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.